morning guys, we're on a road trip. Me and my buddy Steve. Here he morning. Is. Yep. 16 months since we've been down here at Bournemouth. Uh, beautiful sunny day today, so hopefully the beach will play and open up David Jones' locker, but we very much doubt it because they've dumped 6 to 8 foot of sand on uh, last year and uh, beginning of this year doing the replenishment, but you never know. But a good bit of storms and wind recently, so maybe a few bits and pieces will have been throwing up out the channels. We're just coming up to the, the Bournemouth sign. We've got a full range of gear with us today, so rain, or sh science, sun, whatever it is, we're kitted out ready for it. Also got the, uh, I've got the CTX and the Equinox, and I think Steve's got his Equinox and the 15-inch coils on, so we'll give them a go. So, welcome to Bournemouth. Well guys, we got parked up and just having a quick look down the beach there. Absolutely gorgeous. You see we've got the bay right out in front of us here. Not many on the beach, a lot of sand down there though. A lot, a lot of sand. No gullies at all. We'll, we'll have to see how we get on. But we'll be dry sanding most of the morning on the bit you can see the tide's coming in at the moment so it'll come up a bit more and then in the afternoon we've got the low tide about half past three so ideal really so we'll catch up with you through the day well we've got down here and this sand is very high as you can see there it's uh, right up to the top of the slope and we've never seen it that high before so obviously the replenishment sand's still here so it was a uh, bit of Hit and hope I think today until the tide goes out and then we'll hit the, the wet sand quite good and proper. Well both equinox is ready to go so let's get there we go third signal 20p beat Steve to the first coin. <laughs> well that's a good sign. That's an old uh, Elizabeth II sixpence. Probably from the 1950s, somewhere the 1960s. That's been thrown up in the soft sand there. Could be a a gully that's opened up further down, so we'll come back here at low tide, I think. Come to base, it just seemed to be a lot lower than the rest. Well, just uh, one scoop down, I think I can see I've got my first bit of jewellery. It's a distinct shape that you see there. A circle. Hopefully that's uh, a ring or an earring. And it's a uh, ring. Yes, get in. Heavy, a child's ring of some sort. It's a stainless steel. Let's get that cleaned off and uh, have a good look at Dunstan. Well, another old one, George V, this, or George VI, I think this one. That's gone back a fair way. Quite deep down, now, about 12 inches down. Well, that took some digging. Good seven scoops out and one of those stainless steel washers that put the groins up the huge great signal that. Couldn't really turn it down. Right, we're not sure about this one. Steve reckons it could be a ring, I reckon it's gonna be a coin. Yeah, I'm going for a coin. Silvery silvery coloured. Ah yeah, I can see the edge. It's a coin. It's a coin, it's a 10p. I think it's a 10p. Yeah. It's a 10p. Ah. Yeah. I'm not getting that Good much signal. today really. Good signals. Lots of signals and I'm in this surf here. But uh Well it's taken long enough, it's half past one in the afternoon that we've found an old boon. First one of the day, Steve's not got any. That's the first one we've got and that's an old one as well, so hopefully there's a few more to go with it and that pays for the Mackey D's. Can't spend this one, I have to trade it in the post office. Well, hopefully there's a few more for us this afternoon. 50p, get in. Really hard work this afternoon, that's only the second coin we've had. As you can see, the tide's gone right out. That went out about an hour and a half ago. And absolutely nothing. All this soft sand up the top there, just all washed down into these gullies. Filled them all up, and as I'm standing here, I'm starting to sink, so 
I'll try the next bay along and see what happens with that one, but the last three bays have been absolutely well, the next thing we found the rune pound and now we've got a 1966, I think, two shilling. Is it 66 or is it? Well, whatever, look at the glasses. <laughs> well, there could be a few more uh, oldies out here. And we're just going to give this area a bit of a hammer in there. Hi guys, welcome to the review. Oh, it was a, a long day with two different lots of weather we had. Uh, with glorious sunshine in the morning. And then about two o'clock, the heavens just opened, so we just had constant rain for the, the rest of the afternoon. So we gave up sort of like late afternoon after doing that wet sanding. Uh, wasn't much there really. You can see that from the fines. Dry sanding in the morning, mainly just rubbish, crown caps and bits and pieces. Very little there. Uh, it's been well picked clean by the locals, by the looks of things. Uh, there was two other detectors there, but they had about 6p between them. They were just dry sanding, so it shows how bad the, this top sand that they've put on there, uh, replenishment, uh, it's really just killed off the dry sand uh, for a lot of people. And with cashless society nowadays, there's not a lot there for fresh drops. You can see that in the finds we got. I think I got 91p out of those, those cuts uh, that we did get fined. Uh, 10 bays, uh, up and down, up and down, and only two bays actually produced anything. That was just either side of a groin where... There was a, a wash, so Steve and I just hammered that area. He was the same. Uh, we did get a few older coins. We've got the, the flora in this, the old sixpence, penny. Uh, Steve got a silver ring out of there. He also got uh, pennies and uh, sixpence as well. But overall, very disappointing. And we did get a rune pound. <laughs> yeah. That'll go in the bag and get that changed at the post office then. Highlight of the day, had the little silver earring. That gave a, a very scratchy tone, but uh, that 15 inch coil did say there was something there. And this tiny, tiny little find. Um, that shows you a sense of that, that coil is. And if you, if you do listen for the little squeaks and pops in there, you will find these tiny little finds. So if you find these, you're, you're going to get some earrings, but not a lot of that even. Uh, highlight of the day, a little uh, platinum ring, three grams of, of platinum. Yeah, it's a lovely little signal. Um, not that far down. Second scoop brought it out, so it's probably about five, six inches down. Definitely knew it was there, but again, uh, if it wasn't for those two areas scoured out, we would have blanked all day. Uh, very disappointing. And with all this, like I said, replenishing sand that's been put onto Bournemouth Beach now, it's really hard work. And then moved into the wet sand, just forget it, I got 3p in the afternoon. All that brown slushy sand is all washed down into the gullies and I was sinking up to the tops of my wellies at times. It was that soft and slushy, it's a waste of time detecting there. So we finished off just after four, early bath. So we come back. Yes, I think we'll go back to Bow. We just can't keep away from there. Uh, we just love that beach, beautiful scenery. Uh, hopefully um, when we do go back, probably in sort of like, late autumn, early winter, when we tend to go down, uh, the storms will kick in and churn around the, the beach a bit more and get rid of some of that horrible, nasty brown stuff. <laughs> so it's your pal Marl after a long day. Uh, this is rust. It's not suntan <laughs> from the rain. So happy hunting to you all. Catch you on the next one. Uh, probably be a land hunt somewhere, but the crops are now growing quite high, so I'm struggling to find somewhere. But I've got the sheep in one area uh, on Vicarage Farm which uh, means there'll be an area that I've never detected before because the grass has always been too long. So catch up with me on that hunt and catch you in the next one. So all the best to you guys. Have a good summer. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.